peppercorns and mustard seed and other seasonings. We'll mix them all together in a sauce that's fit for kings. Kalu Kalai we'll eat today like cabbages and kings. The story of the curious oysters. <laughs> Begin the feed. Feed? Oh, yeah. Hello, Internets. Welcome to the corner table. Last weekend, I was at a wonderful party uh, thrown in honor of David Coates' birthday. Happy birthday, David. By his lovely wife, Karu. And uh, I had the opportunity to shop many oysters for many wonderful food loving people. Uh, one of whom, Nicole sent me a wonderful recipe for an Asian mignonette. So, I've been inspired to do this video to teach you how to shuck proper oysters and make these beautiful mignonettes. Not only are oysters in season now that it's winter and they've stopped spawning, uh, the colder waters gets them to store some fat, get a little bit plumper and juicier, and develop those crisp, beautiful flavors that I love so much in oysters. Uh, but New Year's Eve is coming up, and when I think of New Year's Eve, I think of oysters and bubbly. Like peas and carrots. Beautiful combination. So I'm going to show you how to get that off the ground for your own New Year's Eve party. Uh, first thing that you'll need is a really good oyster shucker. You want something long and skinny. Sharp, but not too sharp, because you can cut yourself. Not one of those short, fat ones. That's more of a, a clam shucker. So without further ado, Let's get shocking. So let's start with the basic anatomy of an oyster. Laying it on its back with the flat side up, you will always have three critical points. The triangular shell hinge is your point of entry, and you'll also have to sever the muscle articulations on the top and bottom of the shell towards the top right hand corner. You don't need any fancy gloves or special equipment, two kitchen towels work perfectly. Point your knife into the triangular shell hinge, apply gentle pressure, and wiggle slightly. It's this wiggling that is going to pop the oyster open. Wipe your knife so you don't get any little bits of shell inside the oyster, and then slide your knife along the underside of the top part of the shell and sever that muscle articulation in the top right hand corner. Then you can take a look inside the oyster and see if you've got any little bits of shell inside. You probably will. That's fine, just make sure to remove them. these gritty bits make an oyster very unpleasant. Then you can sever the bottom articulation, flip the oyster over, and given that it's fresh and briny enough, it should slide around in its shell. The fastest way to shuck several oysters for your party is to line three or four of them up assembly line style underneath a towel. Just make sure you wipe off your knife in between each cut so that you don't get any little bits of shell in there. So first we're going to prepare some lemons. Cut off the ends, cut them in half. I cut a slit down the middle so you can also hang them on the edge of a drink as garnish, and then cut them into eighths. Cut the pith out of the middle, and then remove the seeds. Perfect lemon wedges to display with your oysters. Then I'll start on my shallots, just cutting the ends off, saving those for stock. Cut them in half, and peel them, and then we're going to dice them finely. Do not make the mistake of cutting your shallots into half moons, you want to use an amalse. So following the natural ridges of the shallot, you will get a perfect julienne. From this julienne, you can easily square it off and cut a perfect brunoise. If it's too big for you, then you can mince it up afterwards. You just do not want big chunks of shallot. Next, I'm going to pull out four or five Thai chilies and just chop the ends off of those. Cut them in half lengthwise, scrape out the seeds to remove most of the capsaicin. Cut them lengthwise into thin julienne and then square them off to cut a brunoise. Finally, for our mini net prep, take about a half a bunch of cilantro, start by chopping it up really rough and then mince it very fine. First, for our classic French mignonette, start with one half cup of red wine vinegar. Throw in a large handful of your minced shallots. Throw in a couple of bay leaves, some black peppercorn, and a pinch of salt. Next, for Nicole's beautiful Asian mignonette, we'll start with a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, a quarter cup of seasoned rice wine vinegar, one large handful of minced shallots, a large handful of minced cilantro, one tablespoon of Thai chili brunoise, and the juice of half. 
recipes overnight, and then just before the party the next day, shuck your oysters, arrange them on a bed of crushed ice with the accoutrement, and let the hedonism begin. It is a classic mignonette. It's basically an Asian mignonette. Mmm. Mmm. Cheers. 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 That is uh, oyster rotting. Yeah, it's super But I don't good. want to eat them all, but I want to mm. eat them all at the same time. <laughs> oh, holy shit! What a badass. Oh, <laughs> spicy too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Ah! Toast me, have. Throw in a bottle of Cedar Creek Chardonnay or Sumac Ridge Stellar's J Brute, and you have the easiest way to experience gastronomic ecstasy at your New Year's Eve party or any day of the week. Big shout out to Fishworks on Lonsdale for hooking me up with these beautiful, fresh Fanny Bay oysters, to Karu and Dave for throwing such an inspiring party, and to Nicole for the great recipe. See you all next time. Thanks for dining at the corner table. Oh, there's a little child. No, they're not super convinced.